kids, welcome to Kids Church. Um, today we're going to be starting a new series. We've just finished Ruth, which was really, really good. Um, and now we're going to be thinking together about what God's plan is for us as his church. And we're going to learn five big words and all these big words start with an M. And our first big word that we'll be looking at today is magnification. I wrote it down because it's an enormous word. But what does magnification mean? Well, imagine a telescope. I'm gonna make a telescope out of my paper. It's not a real telescope, so it won't actually work, but we can pretend. So we use telescopes to look at things that are massive. You can look at giant planets, the moon, stars, and we get to see them even more clearly through the telescope. And when we see more and more details of the massive thing, what's our response? We'd probably say something like, wow, that's amazing. That's what we mean when we talk about magnification. So here's our big idea. The Bible tells us we were made by God to live for him. And when we see how amazing he really is, God wants us to say, wow, you're amazing, Lord. And that's what it means to praise the Lord. It doesn't mean we have to make him seem big because he really is big without us doing anything. But he wants us to see him and say, wow. And God doesn't just want us to say he's amazing. He wants us forever and ever to live every day to please him. Praising God's greatness is our very special purpose as his church. And we've got a story now to help us think a bit more about it. And this story comes from Matthew. And in Matthew 23, Jesus warned the people about the temple leaders, the priests and Pharisees. They were supposed to teach the people about God so they could all say together, wow, you're amazing, Lord. They were supposed to love God and live his way. But the priests and the Pharisees failed. Jesus said they were hypocrites. That means they told the people to do the things that they didn't even do themselves. The leaders said they loved God, but their lives showed they didn't. So in Matthew 21, Jesus used a parable to show how important it is to not only say you love God, but to live your life showing you love God. And it goes like this. The parable of the two sons. There once was a man. This man was a farmer. He was a grape farmer. He had lots and lots of grapevines. The farmer picked a grape off one of his vines. The farmer said, mmm, tastes good. It's time to pick the grapes. So the farmer went off to find his sons. He found his first son. The farmer said, son, go and pick the grapes. They're ready to be eaten. But the son said, no, I'm too busy. But later, his first son changed his mind. He picked up the shovel and rake and he went out into the vineyard and picked all the grapes for his dad. The farmer went looking for his other son. The farmer said, son, go and pick the grapes. They're ready to be eaten. The son said, oh, yes, yes, dad, I'll go. So the farmer left him. But having said he would work in the vineyard, the other son did not. Instead, he fell back to sleep. When the first son had finished, he brought the grapes back to the house. The farmer came to see what his sons had done. Which son made his father happy? Was it the second son who said yes, he'd go and pick the grapes, but didn't? No, the second son did not do what his father wanted. Was it the first son who said no, but later on did go and pick the grapes? Yes, the first son pleased his father. He did what his father wanted. So kids, if we want our lives to magnify God, then he wants us not just to say we love him, but to do what he asks. We have been made by God to live for him. 
God wants us to say, wow, you're amazing, Lord, and live every day to please him. Praising God's greatness is our very special purpose as his church. Um, Abby's going to share with us a memory verse you can learn. Um, and Eva is going to pray for us in, in a minute. Um, and there's some, also some family discussion questions you can do with your families. Um, you might like to make your own telescope or do one of the puzzles that we've put um, on for you to download. Um, and we'll see you next week. Bye. The memory verse today is Psalms 145 verses 1 to 2. I praise your greatness, my God, the King. I praise you forever and ever. I praise you every day. Let's pray. Father God, we are sorry when we are hypocrites. When we say you are our Heavenly Father and King, then we ignore you and don't talk to you. When we say we love you and fail to be nice to the people around us. When we say we trust in you, but spend our time worrying about things. Please help us magnify you by living our lives, doing things that please you forever and ever, every single day. Amen.